Hey, so I hope you all are having a fantastic day. Today is my 40th birthday and I wanted to share something that's very near and dear to my heart. Um, four or five years ago when I first started on my health journey, I was really, really sick and just feeling gross and I was bloated and I was about 40 pounds overweight and uh, I was sleeping all day. Um, and what I finally gathered was no one else could want to be healthy for me. I was going to have to make that decision for myself. Um, I couldn't expect my husband to drag me out of the, the room and make us go work out or go grocery shopping and take care of all the cooking and all that. Those were things that together we have learned how to do, but in the beginning he didn't have the energy to do it either. So one of us had to um, have the desire to change and it started with me. And so I decided to, you know, through a lot of prayer and some good decisions for myself, um, I was inspired to make some big changes. And over some, over time and consistency, um, I learned how to do a lot of the things that you see me posting about daily. Nothing happened overnight. It took me a good while to get a handle on everything. But through all the little changes that I made over time, I was able to not only inspire um, others, but I inspired my husband to make some changes too. And it's the trickle down effect. So if you're waiting around for somebody else to um, get up and do it for you or drag you up and make you go do something, you really need to see where that's coming from. Um, you know, sometimes it's laziness that's holding us back. Sometimes it's fear. Um, I've known to, to hear from other people and myself too, you know, the fear of success is hard to wrap your head around, so it's just easier not to succeed. Um, some people have a fear that uh, they might get hurt or they might do something, it's just too much of a change for them. Um, you know, everything that's new, um, there's going to be some sort of a fear that's wrapped around it. But the point is, no one can want it for you. You have to do it for yourself. So even if it's just a little baby step here and there, you really do have to reach outside your comfort zone just a little bit. And if you need some help, pray about it. You know, Jesus is there and he's going to help you every step of the way. He provided some amazing things for me. Um, I would have never expected I would be where I am today. Um, especially not a beach body coach helping other people get healthy. <laughs> so, um, you know... Just some mind-blowing things. And today I'm 40 and I'm healthier than I've ever been. I'm thinner than I've ever been in my life. And it's not because I'm unhealthy thin. It's because I'm healthy because of the consistent changes that I've made. And my body doesn't need to hang on to all that crud anymore. Um, but again, you need to step out of your comfort zone just a little bit and make some little changes every day or so. And if that means that you've never cooked in your life or you've never done a fitness program in your life, then start out small. Um, I didn't start out cooking great food from the beginning. Um, that took a lot of time and determination to learn how to do. Um, you know, I didn't spend hours in the kitchen with my mom. Um, I had to just kind of wing it in the beginning. And when I found out that winging it just wasn't working for me, um, I finally started, you know, doing some research and doing some trial and error and just be afraid to fail. Um, you know, through our failures, we learn the most about ourselves. And the same thing with fitness. You know, I never would have thought I would have run a half marathon. But through my failures, through just trying to go out and run a mile and then two and then three and then four and then having a couple setbacks and then going out and doing it anyway, you know, eventually I made it and I did really well and I blew myself away. So, you know, um, I hope this encourages you today, wherever you are in your life, you know, don't let um, your head trash hold you back. Um, think about where it's coming from and then just decide to step up and have the courage to um, take the bull by the horns and make some changes. So at any rate, I love you all. Um, thank you so much for all the birthday wishes. Take care. Bye.